Hi, I'm Matt Beagle with your Stratomatic Strategy of the Month. This month we're going to talk about the, what I call the memento theory of lineup construction. How many times have you tried to fit your team into the traditional baseball lineup that I think Abner Doubleday must have come up with because everybody follows it? You have your speedy leadoff hitter, second guy in the order is a good contact guy, third hitter has to hit for average, and your cleanup hitter, of course, has lots of power. Well, that's fine in the real world, I guess. But in Stratomatic Simulation, you want to get your best hitters the most at bats. And you're not going to do that with a leadoff hitter hitting first. The other thing you might find is when it's most important to get a run, you can't get them in. So we're going to try the Memento Theory. If you've ever seen the movie Memento, written by Christopher Nolan, uh, it's got a reverse timeline. You start at the end of the movie and then work forward. So let's try that with your lineup construction. Just think of yourself as your opponent trying to manage a bullpen against you in the late inning, say the eighth inning. The last thing a bullpen wants to do is have to bring in a, a new pitcher for every hitter that you face or have a bad matchup. So the memento theory of lineup construction is take your best hitter, the guy that you need to protect the most, and he's going to occupy the key spot in your lineup. Let's say the second spot in the order so he gets lots of at-bats. And let's say it's Albert Pujols, for example. What do you need to protect Albert Pujols? The opposing manager wants to bring in a, a righty who's good against right-handed batters, to neutralize Pujols, so after Pujols and before Pujols, you want to put your best left-handed hitters who hit right-handed pitchers. So that way, when the manager comes up against Pujols, if he intentionally walks him to try to get to somebody else, he has to either bring in a new pitcher for the guy batting after him, or take his chances with his right hand if he brought him for Pujols to face that next hitter. You do this all the way down your lineup. So let's just say you have an Andre Ethier to protect Pujols. After Ethier, he needs to be protected by another right-handed batter who crushes lefty pitchers. So if your opponent brings in a lefty to neutralize Ethier, he again either has to make a, a move to his bullpen, he has to intentionally walk Ethier for a good matchup, or just grit his teeth and take that matchup and hope that it works out for the best. You do that all the way down your lineup, alternating different types of hitters so that each time the manager comes up, he's faced with that decision, do I let this reliever in, the next guy's going to be a bad matchup, or do I go to my bullpen? Over time, that will really mentally drain him to have to keep going through that same thing, and he'll start either intentionally walking guys or just leaving his pitcher in because he just doesn't want to think about it anymore or he doesn't want to use up his whole bullpen. So that's going to give you a good matchup or give you an intentional walk, which means extra base runners. So the memento theory of lineup construction, bat your best guys first, pick the guy you need to protect the most, and then alternate hitters after that that will make a bad matchup for your opponent when he sets up his bullpen against yours. What do you do with that speedy leadoff guy? Well, did you really want to steal in front of Albert Pujols and maybe take the bat out of his hands? Of course not. Bring the leadoff guy to the bottom of your lineup. That's where you have the weaker hitters where you need to manufacture runs. You might need to steal, hit and run, sacrifice bunt. you got your worst hitters on the team. Put the speedy leadoff guy at the bottom of your order where you have to manufacture runs. You'd much rather get thrown out in front of Adam Everett at the plate than you would Albert Pujols. So by putting your speed guy at the bottom of the lineup, now you can more freely be aggressive on the base paths and try to manufacture a run. For Stratomatic Video Blog, I'm Matt Beagle.